hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is julie and i have for you today guys this crochet v-neck crop top so this is the front and the back so it looks the same and the size of this one guys is from here to here it's 28 centimeter and the width is 38 centimeter and this one can fit to small up to medium size so guys if you are new to my channel please like this video and don't forget to subscribe let's start what i have here is a ball of yarn from alice cotton gold and in color 56 i have here also stitch marker cutter yarn needle and for my hook i'm going to use three millimeter crochet hook so i have here guys a sketch so i can explain a little bit better so for this project it can fit to small up to medium so we need two panels for this project one for the front and one for the back so here guys i have my measurement so my bus circumference my bus circumference is 76 centimeter which is i divided into two which is the size of this panel so the width is from point A to point B is 38 centimeter, but it can stretch up to 45 centimeter. And the height from tip to tip it's 27 centimeter. But if you measure it on the V line, which is on the chest area, it's 19 centimeter. So this 38 centimeter by 27 centimeter panel, it consists of 16 rows. So I use 3 millimeter crochet hook. And also guys, if you've seen my Rasta skirt, the tutorial, it's gonna be easier for you to follow because they almost have the same concept. So we're going to start by making our foundation chain. So we need to chain 53. So ready your stitch marker because on the chain 26, we're going to put our stitch marker. After I completed my 53 chains and I already put my stitch marker on the 26 stitch, now we're going to count backwards. So from the hook, one, two, three, the last three stitches is our first double crochet. On the fourth stitch, we're going to put double crochet. And again, double crochet on the next stitch. So we need to make 25 double crochet and I will meet you before the stitch marker. So I have now here guys 25 double crochet and now I'm going to remove the stitch marker. So I'm going to put two double crochet inside this stitch so one two chain two one two and again two double crochet on the same stitch and again on the following stitches we're going to put double crochet so it means you have 25 double crochet on this side. The middle stitch that we have, we have two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. So now we're going to make 25 double crochet on the following stitches. So after we completed our first row, this is what it looks like. And now for the second row, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Turn our work. Skip the next stitch. And on the third stitch, we're going to put double crochet. Chain one. 
skip one, put double crochet on the next stitch. Again, chain one, skip one, put double crochet on the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, put double crochet on the next stitch. So we're just gonna keep going. So you're just gonna keep going guys and I will meet you on the chain 2 space. We are now on our chain 2 space. So now we're going to chain 1. Put double crochet inside the chain 2 space. Chain 2, 1, 2. And again 1 double crochet inside that chain 2 space. And again chain one put double crochet on the very first stitch chain one skip the next stitch on the next stitch you're going to put double crochet so on our previous row on the chain chain space that we have we put two double crochet chain two and two double crochet but on the second row on the chain 2 space, we put 1 double crochet, chain 2, and 1 double crochet. So now we're going to keep going. Chain 1, skip 1, put double crochet. Chain 1, skip 1, double crochet. Whoops. For our third row, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. And inside this chain space, we're going to put double crochet. And on the next stitch, we're going to put double crochet. And again, one double crochet inside the chain space. Double crochet on the next stitch. Double crochet inside the chain one space double crochet on the next stitch so we're going to make double crochet all the way up to the last chain space and then on the chain 2 space we're going to put two double crochet chain 2 and two double crochet so I'm now guys on the chain 2 space so now I'm going to put two double crochet one two chain 2 and again 2 double crochet inside that chain 2 space one two and again we're gonna keep going and put double crochet on the following stitches and chain space So after three rows guys, this is what we have. So now for the fourth row, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. And we're just gonna follow the stitches and put double crochet. So we're going to do exactly the same from the previous row. It means that when we reach the middle stitch, the middle chain 2 space, we're going to put 2 double crochet, chain 2, and 2 double crochet. So we are now on the chain 2 space, so we're going to put 2 double crochet, 
वन टू चेन टू एंड ऑन द सेम चेन टू स्पेस वर गोइंग टू पुट टू डबल क्रोशे वन टू एंड अगेन फॉलो द स्टिचेस एंड पुट डबल क्रोशे इच स्टिचेस After four rows, this is what we have. So now we're going to start our fifth row. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And this fifth row is going to be chain one, skip one, double crochet row. So it's like this. So we're going to turn our work. Skip one stitch and put double crochet on the next stitch. Chain one. Skip one. Double crochet. Chain one, skip one, put double crochet on the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, put double crochet on the next stitch. So for this row, guys, remember on this on our previous row that we put one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet only. But if we have the double crochet row, like full double crochet row. We put two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet on the chain two space. So after fifth row, this is what we have. So these are pattern guys. So this is the first one, the first row, which is we're not gonna count. So our pattern is one row of chain one, skip one, double crochet, two rows of full double crochet, and again. The next row is chain one, skip one, double crochet row. So you're just gonna keep going until you reach the measurement for your panel. So I have here, guys, my two panels. They're ready, and they both have 16 rows. And now I'm gonna measure it for you. So remember, guys, I showed you my measurement on my sketch. So. From side to side, it's 38 centimeter, and from top to bottom, it's 27 centimeter, and from here to tip, it's 19 centimeter. So now we are ready for our next step. So now, guys, we're going to start with one panel. So from like from like this which is the um, right side is on the top so you're gonna turn it like this grab your yarn and we're going to connect it on the chain 2 space so now put your hook in chain 1 two three four so now we're going to skip two stitches and on the third stitch we're going to put double crochet like this because I finish on the full double crochet row so my next row is chain one chain one skip one double crochet so because we're, we're starting on this side so I'm going to, to skip two double crochet. So chain one, skip one stitch. On the next stitch, you're going to put double crochet. So basically we're going to do chain one, skip one double crochet row. Oops. So you're just gonna keep going guys and finish this row. Oops. And I will meet you two stitches before you finish this row. So I am now on my last two stitches. So now we're gonna get our second panel. So again, we're going to... So from here, you're going to turn it like this way. Again, the right side is on the top. So let's finish this row, 
chain one put double crochet on the last stitch grab the other panel so you're gonna yarn over put your hook on the first stitch pull through and yarn over and pull through all three loops and now we're gonna leave the first panel we're gonna leave that one and we're gonna move on to the second panel so from like this we're going to chain one we're going to skip one stitch and put double crochet on the next next stitch oops so this is what it looks like guys after we connect these two so it's like this and again we're gonna keep going to make chain one skip one double crochet So you're gonna keep working guys and I will meet you two stitches before the chain two space. So I have left with two stitches. So now I'm gonna yarn over two times. Put my hook inside the chain two space. Pull through. I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. I have three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. I have two loops on my hook and now I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all two loops so I just made triple crochet so we finish this row with triple crochet so this is what it looks like guys so for now we're only working on this area later we're gonna connect these two again after we finish to fill up this space to make it straight we are now on 18th row so we're going to start our row by chaining four so one two three four so every time we start a row we're chaining four and every time we finish we're making triple crochet so chain four now turn our work So now we're going to skip this chain space and we're going to put double crochet on top of this double crochet stitch. And now double crochet inside the chain chain one space. And again double crochet on the next stitch. So for this row it's full double crochet. So again guys you're gonna keep going and make double crochet and I will meet you again after you finish this row and I will meet you two stitches or before this chain one space so I will meet you on the connection so we are now guys in in between the two panels so now we're going to skip this chain space and also the first chain space on the second panel so we're gonna yarn over skip the chain one space and put double crochet on the second double crochet so it's like this and now we're gonna keep going and make double crochet So again guys you're gonna keep making double crochet and I will meet you one chain space before the chain four so to finish our 18th row we're gonna yarn over two times 
put our hook inside the chain 4 space pull through we have 4 loops on our hook yarn over pull through 2 we have 3 loops on our hook yarn over pull through 2 we have 2 loops on our hook and again yarn over and pull through the last 2 loops so again to finish this row we made triple crochet so again to start our 19th row we're going to chain 4 1 2 3 4 turn our work And again, we're going to skip two stitches and put double crochet on the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, three on the third stitch, we're going to put double crochet. And again, we're going to keep going double crochet. So we're gonna keep making double crochet again guys and I will meet you on the connection. So we are now again on the middle of these two panel. So we're gonna skip two double crochet. So now we're gonna yarn over and we're going to skip two double crochet again on the second panel and put our hook in and make double crochet on the third stitch. So one, two, three. And put double crochet so it's like, like that guys so if we are on the row that we make chain one skip one double crochet we always gonna chain one between them but because it's a double crochet row we're not gonna chain one so again we're gonna keep going guys So to finish our 19th row, we're gonna skip two stitches again and we're gonna yarn over two times and make triple crochet. So now again, we're gonna start our next row by chaining four, turn our work. And for this, and for this row, we're going to make chain one, skip one double crochet. So we're going to skip Two double crochet and we're gonna put double crochet on the third stitch like this chain one skip one put double crochet on the next stitch chain one skip one double crochet And again chain one skip one double crochet so you're gonna keep going guys and make this this row and I will meet you again on the connection to show you the last time we are now guys on the middle in between the two panels so now I'm going to chain one skip the two stitches skip this chain space and again we're going to skip these two stitches and now on the third stitch we're going to put double crochet so it's like that guys so again chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet So that's how it looks like guys in the middle. So now you're gonna finish this row up to the middle, I mean up to the chain four. And to finish this row, you're going to make triple crochet and start the next row by chaining four. So this is what we have so far. As you can see guys, it's starting to straighten up both sides. So we're trying to fill up this gap by keep making rows and if we keep going we're going to connect this bottom both sides and make it straight. So that's what we're trying to achieve. So you're gonna keep going guys and fill this gap and I will meet you 
the last row before we finish this this side so I am now on my last row guys so now I'm not gonna chain four so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna yarn over and inside this chain four space I'm gonna put my hook in and make double crochet like that and then chain one and then we're gonna cut it so this is what we have guys as you can see it's straight now and now you kind of keep going and do this side and do exactly the same and then I will meet you to make the sign on the bottom and also for the strap so this is what I have guys after I've done this side so this is what it looks like so now we're going to start working for our strap so I've done already one side of my strap so this is what it looks like so it's just an easy one so now you have to flip your project inside out and then we're going to connect our yarn on top of this double crochet stitch like this and make single crochet and now we're going to put single crochet in between these two double crochet so put your hook in, make single crochet, move on to the next stitch, and make single crochet. Chain two, one, two, turn your work, put double crochet in the next stitch, and again double crochet on the next stitch. Chain two, turn your work, put double crochet in the next stitch oops and double crochet in the next stitch so it's like that our strap guys so you're gonna keep going until you get your desired length for your strap so mine is consist of 24 rows of double crochet and then I will meet you to connect it on the other side so now guys to connect it so we'll just make sure that our strap is not twisted so you're going to remove your hook from this side and you're gonna put it on the other side pull through like this and now you're going to chain one like that lock it and move on to the next stitch and remember that we put our hook in between these two double crochet so we're gonna do it again and make a slip stitch again so pull it tight so now we're gonna move on to the next stitch which is the last stitch and on the second double crochet stitch on the other side And again make a slip stitch and now you're going to chain one lock it and now cut So this is the outcome guys, if you have any question or suggestion about this uh, project, please let me know and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys, see you on my next video, bye!